Holes are getting bigger. Okay, well, Neela got tired of digging and gave up. And she got pretty dirty. Wore down her toenails some. But let's take a look at her hole. What do you think, Ita? Ita likes to dig holes too. I put her on her leash. She'll dig holes, little holes over here at the end of her, her mink crown. I don't look at Ida's holes that she's dug. She's dug holes like right there and right there, kind of at the end. But she'll even dig holes like right there in the yard around her mink run. There's her Buster Bunny. But let's take a look at Mila's big hole. I got a flashlight here. My handy Stanley Stanley Fat Max. Let's take a look. Ooh, boy. And when I showed you this, her hole just barely, her head just barely fit in there. And, holy cow. Got a big hole in there. Wow. Holy mackerel! She's been down there a long ways. Can't believe she got that far. Well, I can't just leave that hole like that. I gotta fill it in. So, I'm gonna need a shovel and a board to pack it in there. Sorry, Neela. I'm gonna fill in your hole. Well, I'm gonna go to shovel. I got a stick right there. I can pack it in so it's not just loose. It's time for back. Ita's dinner, so I'm gonna feed her. Here you go. Yum, yum, yum. She likes her ground food, ground up food, ground meat. Oh. You know, I think she found another rat. Well, we gotta get that dirt back in there. I'm not just gonna leave a hole in there. Because if it rains, this is gonna make a big mud pile. I need to get it back in there. And in that hole. You can move a lot of dirt. Okay, get out of the way. Look at all this dirt. That dirt was even with the bottom of those cinder blocks. She piled up that much dirt. I'm gonna have to pack it back in there. So, I have this big stick here. I've been saving this to make into a shovel handle. This is from the apple tree, I think. That'll be good. Let me pack that hole. I think the hole that she was really after was actually. ground squirrel hole. It was really old because occasionally when we had a big rain the water would puddle in here then a couple days later we'd have water down in the basement. But I think that this is actually good 
I don't think it was a rat den. I think it was a, an old ground squirrel den from a long, long time ago that was never properly filled in. Just for perspective, I'm going to measure Neela. Come here, Neela. Come here. Let's see if I get her to hold still. Okay, hold still. Hold still. From Neela's tail to her nose is only about 26 inches. She's not holding still. Yeah, from her nose to her tail, drain of her butt, is only about 24 inches. So that hole. She was fitting all the way in that hole. That's pretty good. She was getting back there. Pack this down. All right. I got a tamper. I'll be right back. Okay. Handy dandy tamper. See that? I think that's my eight-inch tamper. Sorry for him. Because he is stuck. Thanks for joining me here on Matthew's Mink Man Manor. Matthew's Mink Manor. For another little fun video of working with Neela. And I think I showed you eat uh, she ate her dinner. But then she went to sleep. She'll wake up in a couple more hours and play half the night. But uh Take a moment, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and comment below and uh, share any of these videos on Facebook with your friends and family. It's always kind of fun to see what's happening in the life of my dog Neela and my Minkita. Bye. You think there's another rat down in there? You think we buried it? Well, let's put the tools away. Come on.